Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Alex. And today we're gonna to talk about using JSON patch with Spring Boot. If you are building RESTful APIs, then chances are you're familiar with most of the HTTP methods that are supported. So that's HTTP GET if you want to read data, there's HTTP POST if you just want to write data, there's delete for deleting data and there's put for updating data. But there's also patch. And patch is also used to update data, but it's a little bit different to put. So for put, you always have to submit the whole data. So if you want to update a user account, you always have to update the whole thing, even if just one property has changed. Patch, on the other hand, allows you to just update individual slices. So we're gonna build an example where we have a user and they have an address. So we assume they have just moved to another street and we will update the street. Now you have two options. So either you use put, which means you have to do a get request first to get the fresh data, update the address and then use put to update everything although just the street has changed or you can use patch to update only the street. Now let's jump right into it, let's code. Now before we start actually coding, a few words around patch. Other than you might think, patch doesn't work by just sending the property that has changed. So if we have a user account, I can't just send the street property. And we're gonna talk about JSON patch in particular because it's the easiest to implement. So there is an RFC of course, and we can just go to the table of contents. Instead of sending individual properties, JSON patch requires operations. So we have to specify what we want to be changed. And these are the operations that are supported. Um, so there's add for adding new properties. There's remove for removing properties. There's replace, there's move, there's copy and test. So the patch operation really just contains operations that our API needs to carry out on a specific JSON resource. We're not gonna build this ourselves. Instead, we're gonna use a library. And there's this JSON patch library. There are actually a couple. They are all quite dated, but then again, there's not so much that can really change here. Uh, I picked this one because it comes with support for Jackson, which is perfectly supported in Spring Boot already. So it has a seamless integration and that's why we use it. Let's go to the IDE and start with the dependencies. As usual, I'm using Spring Boot version three. Um, and this is the one dependency that I brought in, which is JSON patch. Um, so we can actually start building the code. Let's jump right in. What we're gonna need is a controller. So let's start with that. This is, of course, a REST controller. I always make mistakes when someone's watching. This has a map, we we'll call this users, equals mutable map of. And we need to create our domain object. So I'm gonna go with an address, which I set. So there is a street and there is a city. And then we want to have a user our user has, of course, a username, and now a user also needs an address. We just assume there's always one address. And now we can add them here. So I have one user, uh, the key is the username, um, and we map this to a new user. Copilot, let's go. So we have a new user, also the same username and their address is 123 Main Street, Springfield. So let's start with the usual endpoints. Let's have a get mapping for slash username, and this is a variable, I make it like so, and request these, request, come on, what is it, mapping, um, users. So there's users slash username, and that should return um, a user. Let's keep this simple. And the user is path variable, username string, and we return, um, ba -ba -ba -bum. Yeah, illegal state for now. Not the best exception, but we go with it. So we return the user or throw an exception. So let's quickly start the application, see if everything works. It's booting. There we go. Let's go to terminal. Uh, using HTTP as usual. We go with users xgr. And this is what we would expect, right? It's a boring get request. It gives us the user. It has the address nested in here. And now we just pretend that the user has moved to a different street in the same city. So we want to update the street. So using patch. And how are we going to do this? So first of all, back to the user controller. We need a patch mapping. A path mapping, no, patch mapping. It's also to the username because we update a specific um, resource. So there's the path variable 
variable variable username there we go string go away now i want to do this myself and now we also need a request buddy because we expect clients to send us the request buddy which is the actual patch which contains the operations that need to be applied and we can use an existing type from uh, the library that we're using which is json patch as you would expect so if we just take a look here um, we can see this is how it's expected um, to be encoded in JSON. So it is an array and it contains individual objects describing the operations, right? So each object has op, which says, okay, which operation is it? Is it add? Is it remove? Is it replace? Um, and then the path within the JSON document, right? So we need to know where the property is that we're updating. It's a little bit tedious because we all have to do it on a JSON level, um, but that's how it works. So this is the object. Spring already knows how to map this to a request body. What we will need now, since we're operating on the JSON directly, is we need the object mapper. So we use the object mapper from Jackson. And now comes the magic. So let's first get the user, right? So we want to update a specific user. So we have to read that and throw the exception if the user doesn't exist. It's not user, it's users. Now that we have the user, we create, let's call that JSON. We serialize the user to a JSON document. So this is mapper value to tree. And I want a JSON node that I can work with going forward. And I put in the user, right? So JSON node is from Jackson. I want to use that to manipulate the object. Now I have the JSON from the user and I have the JSON patch. And now I want to just apply the patch to the user. So I do just as suggested, I can invoke patch apply JSON. So the patch is now applied to the JSON and that gives me a new JSON document, right? So patched here now, uh, I think it's a JSON node. Let's check. That should be uh, a JSON node. Yep. So I'm putting in a JSON node, getting out a JSON node. So with that in place, we have applied that. We now need the object mapper um, to go back to the actual value. And the value is the user. And we say the patched thingy. So now we have the user that is updated and we can just put this into our user map, user name, where is it? Equals mapper. So this is converted back to the actual user. And now we just return the updated user, uh, user's username. And I can enforce this here with the compiler because I know it's in there because we just edited it here and it should be null. Uh, yeah, let's assume it's not null. So this is the final implementation. So we did the implementation first, we're gonna test it now, but this is what's happening, right? So we use the user, it could also come from a database. We then create a JSON from that user. Then we apply the patch that has been supplied by a client invoking our API. And then we create a user back out of it. And that's pretty much it. I do this in a controller here to keep the example simple. Usually I wouldn't do it here. I probably would just push this down further into the service layer to have something there and not do it directly in a controller, but it keeps it more concise for this example. So let's start the application and then let's, okay, it has started. Now let's make sure this still works. So I'm getting the user XGR, we can see, okay, still uses or still lives in one to three main street. Now we are gonna update this. So I'm using a command here. So I echo the actual payload. Um, oh look, it already has it. Uh, let me check if that's correct. So I have the array here um, and I have an operation. So the operation is replace. And what is it that we want to replace? And this is the path. So it's slash address slash street, which is correct, right? Because it's address and then below nested is the street. And we want to replace whatever value is in there with this value, which says doom street, which is the new street they are living in. And then we invoke HTTP patch on the user resource. So let's do this. Boom, there we go. So we can see this is uh, succeeded and we can see we return the updated object, which now lives in Doom Street. This is returned from our patch method. So let's let's just double check using our get endpoint and we can see indeed the object has been updated with the new data. And that's how you do JSON patch using Spring Boot and your REST controller. Again, there are more operations that are supported when we could, we could actually fill the array with more operations and the JSON patch library that we're using would just take care of them all. So they would get applied to the JSON document that we create in our controller. As usual, I hope that was useful. Let me know if you liked this. Consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.